Okay, guys, so <clears throat> I'm a little bit under the weather here still, but I had to put out this very quick recap video or review of the calendars that I took last week. Uh, I told you all I was getting into calendars and the whole point behind calendars is theta decay. So what that means is uh, basically one of the biggest factors in the value or one of the biggest factors that affects the value of an options contract is time, time left to expiration. It's one of the Greeks, theta. And all else being equal, meaning if there is no move, no significant move in the stock price in either direction, all things being equal, theta will eventually decay as days go by towards expiry. So a calendar uh, looks to profit from little to no movement and time decay, or the passage of time. So I took four calendars, and it was uh, a paper trade. It was just for illustrative purposes, because I actually took them, uh, if you recall, in exactly opposite directions. So I took a target put calendar and a target call calendar. So I was expecting the target, uh, I was expecting target, sorry, to reach 145 or lower. So I basically bought, right? Uh, it's a buy because it's a debit. What that means is that the uh, the put contract that I bought, which was expiring in January, which is further dated than November, was more expensive. And then you sell one against it, you know, to basically cover yourself, and that's what actually decays in premium. So that's what you want. Sorry, I did not mean to say that you buy it to cover this one. Uh, it's actually the other way around because this is the one that you're selling. But you buy this one, the longer dated one, to cover yourself. And this one is supposed to move less than the front dated one. Okay, So I was expecting Target to go towards 145 and lower, which is why, uh, as I was saying, these you know further dated contracts are more expensive than the near dated contracts. So because this is let's say ten dollars and this is let's say five or six dollars, then you end up paying more or you actually end up paying because it's more expensive the one you buy than the one you sell against it. And that's why it's called uh, you know a, a debit because you in the overall transaction what you pay for and what you sell you end up paying more, which is the 341 debit over here. Uh, at the same time, which is kind of, you know, kind of like a straddle strangle kind of thing, uh, I also bought the call. So I was ex expecting it to go down, but I was also expecting it to come, uh, to go up to the 170 call. Okay. And this one ended up being a 410 debit. Uh, and I did the same for Walmart. And this is because retail sales were out and these both had. Um, uh, earnings, okay, and Target came out uh, kind of bad, really, on earnings. Not so much on revenue, but definitely on earnings. And Walmart did uh, did surprise, so that was pretty good. Uh, so that's why I took these two uh, retailers. Okay, so I was expecting them uh, to move uh, basically not at all. Okay, let me actually switch over to what those things look like, which is, ah, there goes Spy, all right, yep, it filled, oh boy, okay, so this was, the, sorry, let me zoom out to the daily, this is the Walmart play, and this was on the daily, and we were expecting Walmart to basically trade inside this range, which it did. Okay, so this is uh, basically the Monday one. Sorry, this is in October. This is the November one over here. So this is what it's done, except that today uh, and yesterday it kind of uh, popped because of earnings. You know, here's the earnings surprise. It was 13% on revenue and 3% on, uh, sorry, 3% on revenue, 13% on earnings. So Walmart did pretty well, uh, but, but it but did basically chop around this level. All right, 
Uh, so let me jump real quick on target. Uh, that is what we were expecting target to do. And uh, that is indeed, indeed what it did. Now, what I am understanding the problem was with this is that the range was too far. Okay, so I went all the way from 140 to 180, so that's $40. Uh, so that's too big of a range to, to have made the calendar worked out as expected. What you want is you want very insignificant movement uh, around a particular area. Uh, you don't expect these things, and that's why you sell these before earnings, and we'll get into that uh, when we look at what I sold them for. Or <clears throat> and uh, uh, so this range would have needed to be a little bit tighter than the 40 bucks for the Target, and the Walmart one was... 150 to 116. I was like almost $50 on that one. So that was too big a range. Okay, so what happened? Let's go back to what we had. So this is what we paid for each one of these when we bought them. We bought the 341, uh, we bought one for 341, to, for 235, for 269, and for 410. Now, what ended up happening? So let's go back over here to our. Uh, let me. Quickly move. Oh, sorry. This is a spy. No, this is not what I wanted. Uh, spy s seems to be on the move here for some reason. Uh, okay. Okay. So let's go back to where I actually took these. So here it is. All right. Uh, and I'll put these up here. So the 341 debit was actually a 323 debit. Uh, the 235 was actually a 230 the 40 the 410 was a 405 and the 269 was a 271 so here's where i bought these at all right and this is what i sold them for so the uh this is the call target uh which was this one right here right so i bought it for 405 and i bought it and i sold it for 455 uh so that one was a 50 dollar profit all right uh, and then this is the Walmart call. And this is the first one that I closed out. So this one I actually closed out four days after, and that was uh, well before earnings. So I was, I was good on that one. Um, and the next one was the Walmart call calendar, which is this one right here. I had bought for 271 I sold for 360 So that's pretty much... Uh, 271 to 360, like $90. So that's a $140 profit right there on those. Okay, so that actually moved pretty well. Uh, now the next two, this one was the Walmart put calendar. And then Walmart was pretty bullish, as you remember from the chart. So here's the put calendar. I actually paid 230 for it, and I ended up selling it. Uh, here it is for 151 so hold on a second. Yeah, I paid two thirty for it, right? The put calendar on Walmart, and I ended up selling it for one fifty one. So I lost uh, fifty eighty dollars. So out of the hundred and forty uh, minus, it's my calculator here, hundred and forty minus the ninety. So I'm left with fifty dollar profit. And then the last one, which was the uh, Walmart put calendar, sorry, the, uh, here, the Target put calendar, which is the one I sold today, when, after, let me show this on screen here, here it is, the Target daily, all right, so this is what Target did today, and this was, uh, I actually, this was the only one that I rode through earnings, I, or I held through earnings and it gap. Look at this huge gap. It gapped basically from 178 all the way down to 149 or so. So uh, that was like a $30 gap right there on uh, Target because it missed, obviously. So let's go back here. Here we go. All right. So this one was actually uh, also very profitable. So that was the put calendar on Target, which cost me. When I bought it, 323, and I sold it for 493. 
All right. So I had fifty dollars. This four ninety three is what I sold it for, and it cost me three. Yeah, three twenty three. So I made a dollar seventy plus the fifty bucks. So I made two hundred twenty dollars on those calendars. So um. I'm just going to be throwing some of these uh, things in here because it's a uh, just you know it's something that I want to get into because it gives you a lot of leeway in either direction uh, uh, you know in such a way that you don't uh, lose too much when the ticker goes against you and even if the ticker doesn't make that big of a move it uh, it simply won't it, it'll the time the time decay will actually still uh, you know, make you some money, uh, even though the ticker isn't moving very much. And that's why you take them in before earnings, but you definitely want to get out, uh, you know, you definitely want to get out of them before the earnings are announced, which is not what I did in this case, because I did expect, I actually expected both of them to miss. I expected Target and Walmart to miss. Uh, I'm not sure. I haven't looked at the details of the Walmart uh, earnings call, so I'm not sure how they pulled it off, but um, <clears throat> you know they might have just had like uh, so much excess inventory. Uh, I'm not sure, but the point is you're not really supposed to hold them through earnings. And then the other thing that I'm definitely going to do for next time is and I'm going to do it right here. I'm going to clone these. Uh, the range definitely needs to be smaller. Uh, you know, for these things to actually um, uh, be more profitable. So, so like this, you know, the the put or the call on the high side, it just it needs to be closer. So, uh, all right. So we will look at another calendar uh, play, probably all the way until December. So November, I'll just use it to close out. <clears throat> excuse me, to close out my existing um, defensive plays. And then December will probably, oh, no, sorry. Uh, actually, that'll, that's going to be uh, probably until March, unless I find some other opportunity before then. But um, so I will see you guys in the next calendar spread video or possibly other types of uh, vertical and uh, diagonal spreads. All right, have a good one.